Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And almost immediately after the proxy vote yesterday, Disney drops the other shoe, the other giant yellow Mickey shoe. The high heel. The high heel, Minnie's high heel. And it turns out that yes, the rumors, the ridiculous rumors that people thought were untrue are true. The Silver Surfer is going to be a woman in the Fantastic Four movie. But you thought you were gonna get away without the, without them making too many changes? Yeah, because we saw the cast and we're like, well, Pedro Pascal, eh, but everybody else, yeah, but yeah, you okay. Know, according to Iger, they are not making choices based on agenda. They are just doing what's right for entertainment. Uh, yes, so you literally played right into the South Park meme, you put a chick in it. Uh, we don't know if she's gay though. We don't know if it's lame. Or lame. We don't know that. This got one of the three so far. <sighs> but we are going to talk about this because already they're trying to rewrite history. We've got uh, people out on Twitter trying to lecture me on the history of the Silver Surfer and trying to convince me that uh, the Silver Surfer has always been a woman. You know, I just no. didn't know this. But, you know, <laughs> Disney, maybe Disney's smart. Maybe we're looking at this wrong way. Because how many dudes are to come see that just to see... Silver tits? Yes. Chrome tits? A female figure done in silver looking really hot. I mean, a lot of dudes and, and probably a lot of women are going to come just to see that. So, I mean, is Disney being stupid? I don't know. Maybe they just want a big box office. I... I, I Oh, they'll tape her boobs down. She'll be flat chested or something. There you go. We'll, 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 we'll talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so it dropped yesterday that Norrin Rad is not going to be the Silver Surfer in this movie. It's actually going to be Shala Ball, who is Silver Surfer's lover. And yes, she was incredibly briefly in an alternate universe a Silver Surfer. For a couple of issues. Just a couple right. of issues. But people, nah, -uh, it's not true. Uh, I'm lying. <laughs> and, uh, and we're talking, you have to go yeah, back. Guys are going to go to the movie to see that. Yeah, her boobs are hanging out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so she was very, 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 very briefly in an alternate universe. Uh, surfer adjacent. I don't even think they called her Silver Surfer. I think she just had the, the uh, power cosmic like the Silver Surfer. But they've there are already accounts on Twitter trying to say that it was like a 50 50 split that it's always no. been half half Norm rad and half shallow ball and it's like hell no like I honestly thought if they were gonna go this route that they would pick Nova that's what people thought they were gonna do yeah Nova was actually a pretty well-known female herald of the of Galactus, right? Now, the story, for those of you who don't know the story of Silver Surfer, basically, he made a deal with the devil, which was Galactus, to spare his world and his love. He became the herald of Galactus, so Galactus didn't eat his planet. He just helped Galactus kill everybody else. Mm. So that's 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 the deal. But what's probably going to happen, since uh, it is going to be Shalabal, is it'll be uh, her making the sacrifice for her people. I'm sure, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, Norm Rad will either uh, not be mentioned, be relegated to the back burner, get eaten by Galactus or some <laughs> dumb like shit, that. stepped on, you know, something. And also, we're going right to Galactus again. Like, is this is this who the replacement's going to be for Secret Wars? Uh, like for Kang, we're gonna. I don't know because yeah, Kang guys, yeah, not coming back. So. Uh, but, uh, yeah, going to be played by Julia Garner of Ozark. I've never watched Ozark. So People I don't say know. she's actually a pretty good actress, but it's not, But that's not the point. The yeah. Point is, and, I mean, it's fine. But, I mean, it's like, once again, they're just, just gender swapping a character. And they're going to argue, oh, no, no, it's because she was been female before. Yes, temporarily. Like, it wasn't even, like, it wasn't a very big, well-known character. Yeah, so this actually, um, they had an article on it yesterday because, again, there were a lot of people out there trying to say that sh she's she's just as much a surfer as he is. Guys, you've clearly, literally had a guy come in, or gal, or they, them, come into my comments and were like, you don't know your comics. I'm like, look, I'm not super, super well-versed on Silver Surfer, but I, I, I even knew, knew who Nova was, right? So, like, and nobody knows who the fuck Nova is. So yeah, she wasn't, she wasn't a 50, it's not a 50, 50 split. You dumb bitches. Um, bitches is gender neutral. Bitches is gender neutral. As far as I'm concerned. And so maybe the surfer will be too. 
I don't know. Uh, there are stories in which Silver Surfer shares his power cosmic with Shala Ball. That's true. That would be Earth X. Again, alternate timeline, alternate universe. She never actually carries the title or appearance. Nah, she kind of looks like the, the surfer, but yeah, she, she's not actually called. My understanding is she's not actually called the Silver Surfer. Not in the main timeline. In the alternate uh, reality series, Earth X, Rad, and Shalda share. Oh, they do show the name, look, and powers of Silver Surfer. So, so it's like an alternative universe. Yes. So they, they, it, it, while it's, it's an actual character they had, it's like Disney's going to dig through the archives to find the one female version to bring that one over. Well, here. that was kind of like with with Nick Fury. And like, look, I actually like Sam Jackson quite a bit as as Nick Fury, but uh, he was based on the the then ultimate version of Nick Fury, not mm -hmm. not the 616 uh, you know, version. But the thing is, I don't think this is very smart. Now, I don't know if they're trying to distance themselves and be like, well, we had a Silver Surfer movie from Fox and it didn't do very well. I'm like, no, actually, the Silver Surfer was the best part of that movie. Lawrence Fishburne was amazing. Mm -hmm. Silver Surfer was very, very well done. And uh, personality wise, I think he was, he was very much comic, comic book accurate. But um, no, they're doing it because they're like, yeah, we got to have another. We can't just have Sue Storm. We got to have another woman. Got to have a chick in it. But if, if they make her look like that comic cover, guys might still come to the theater. Oh, they that. won't. She'll be like dumpy or something. They'll have to. They, no, they're not. Do you ask? Can you see Disney putting a chrome covered naked TNA on a surfboard? If they thought it was going to get them money, they would. <laughs> I don't know. I, would they? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe, maybe. They're doing, -rated, they're doing an R-rated Deadpool and Wolverine. That's true. And they did Echo and they put a lot more uh, very uh, adult stuff on Disney+. Plus. If they think there's money in it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Disney, maybe Disney's smart. I no, I don't think so. I think that I think the wheels were in motion for this like long before. They're probably going to go the, the video game route where they're going to make her. Dumpy for no reason. <laughs> Make her dumpy for no reason. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. So I mean, look, this. I. I just. I don't think they've. They've learned anything. I think it's. We're I just going, thought it was funny. We're not going to do the woke stuff. <laughs> we're not going to do. Yeah. Literally, that's the thing. We did another video. We. We talked about Bob Iger and how he said, "Well, we're just going to try to entertain everybody." And then they said before that with Marvel they were going to go back to basics and try to go back to the histories of of or through the history of Marvel. And go with what works. And Silver Surfer is a very iconic now, character. To be fair, since it was in the comics and, and she did have in the power, a couple of issues. I know, but technically it was. So technically it's accurate. So I mean, to me, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, I think it's going to suck, but they, I already knew they were going to ruin it. It was like the one everybody had hoped for. So that's the one they're going to ruin the most. I just think anymore, just expect it. And, you know, it's up to you if it's a deal breaker or not. If, it, if she looks like she does in the comics, I don't think it's going to be a deal breaker for everyone. I think a lot of people will be like, yeah, I would like to see her wearing some silver body paint. Let's, you know, because uh, I, I kind of thought it was interesting with Nova because Nova is female. She's got like fire hair and she's gold. Oh, my God. They'll they'll put her. Oh, my God. They'll put her together with Nova. Probably. The Air Galactic Scissor Sisters. <laughs> you know, that's that's what they're going to do. I, I don't know. Um, Because I was cautiously optimistic because I'm like, well, I like the retro look of Fantastic Four. I like they got Herbie in there. I like that everybody looks like themselves except for Pedro Pascal, who just looks like Pedro Pascal, but whatever. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. And uh, I'm like, no, this this doesn't shock me at all. I thought maybe they learned something. I don't think they've learned anything. But they might have already signed the papers before they made the statement that they were going to yeah, you because know, the movie comes out next year, right? Well, yeah, they would have had to. Yeah, to so it's out, like, right? what are you going to do, you know? Uh, and she might be good. Like, I'm not saying she's not going to be good. I'm not going to, you know, I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, if you honestly expected them to stop with the unnecessary race and gender swaps of established characters, they're not going well, to. They're not going to. The character, Shella Balt was an established character as a Silver Surfer, so that is technically... For, like... Two issues. I know. I'm just like, saying. Like, come on. I'm just saying. So this is Perch. They Perch. They wouldn't found a female version to, to say we're going to use, oh, we're using this version. We're not, we're not race, we're not, or gender swapping. It's just that we found the female version and that's the character. So that's what they're going to argue. Yeah. Technically, I mean, it was. This is uh, tech. Well, that's what's going on. Yeah, so we well, got. She was there, but come on already. Yes, basically. Yeah. Yes. This is Perch. Perch basically. knows his stuff, right? I mean, Perch is huge in the comics. I mean, he knows do, his I stuff. Think it's, do I think it's just some agenda point that they're trying to push? Absolutely. Yes. 100%.
Well, at least that character existed as that character. It wasn't like, you know, oh, look at the Black Little Mermaid, you know? know, Uh, Yeah. I like this one. Person, McPerson. Oh, geez. Okay. There was a very brief Shala as a Mm -hmm. server in Earth Eggs, and she died within a few pages of appearing. So I mean, they went and found what they could find for, and then they'll they'll argue, oh, we're not race or not gender swapping. You say race swapping. We're not gender swapping because it's an actual different character, and that's what they're going to run with. Well, I think Aunt May was. I think it was in What If, or it might have actually been. It might have been anywhere. I think Aunt May was briefly a herald of Galactus too. Should we, should we call up Marissa Tomei, and put her in some some gold paint or something? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People would come see that. They too. would. They would. Uh, lots of people would come for Marissa Tomei. In gold body paint, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, so there we go, guys. This is going to be the next thing. But I just, look, I'm t- like, I'm not saying the movie's going to be bad. I'm not saying she's a bad actress. Uh, it might actually be a very good movie and she might actually be the best just, part of it. It's just the most on-brand Disney thing. This is the most on-brand Disney thing ever, right? So if you're expecting them to, to change their ways and sit in the corner and think about what they've done, especially after yesterday, they're not going to. They have no incentive to change. They deliberately went and found the one version of the character that was a different, you know, a different name, but it was a female. So they're yes. not going to get accused of gender swapping. And then they're going to be like, yes. you're a bigot. Yeah. So that's what they're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it, just saying. There it is. So we'll see. I don't know. Like I said, movie could be good. Shock- I'd be shocked if it was. Technically, she was a silver surfer. Technically, in, briefly. Like. If you blink and you squint. Right. And, and if you, you know this alternate universe crap, you know. But. but when the silver, when people think Silver Surfer, this is a character that was had a movie, uh, although shared it with the Fantastic Four. Very uh, beloved character, should have been in Infinity War, honestly, because mm-hmm. he had a, a major role, um, and uh, had a video game, and had a cartoon show, mm-hmm. and had a toy line, and everybody thinks of Norn Rad. I know. I'm not I'm just, disagreeing with you I'm on that. Saying. I'm just saying they're going to argue that. That well, they, they, this isn't him. This is a different version, so it, it's okay. We're not, we're not uh, gender swapping anything. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm just telling you that's how they're going to argue it. Some other, some, uh, they're going to argue everything. They're going to be like, "Well, wow, you're just the biggest." Like, no, I'm just saying. I think, I think if you're like technically, technically, Azrael was Batman too, but you wouldn't go make if you if you were reintroducing Batman to a new generation, you wouldn't go with the uh, very briefly as Batman version of Azrael to do it with the doofy ass armor and the you wouldn't do that because that's not the Batman everybody thinks don't of Bruce don't Wayne tempt them. everybody thinks of Bruce don't Wayne as tempt, Batman don't 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 even put the idea out there just take it back okay I'm just saying like it, it's for the same reason you it would be inadvisable to do that or to pick one of the other Supermen from the 90s when Clark Kent died there were very briefly Superman while he was dead it's not smart, I don't think, to 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 use uh, Norm Rad's girlfriend. Just saying. Just, just putting that out there. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.